Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks so much for joining me. As always, lovely to see you. Thanks for popping in. Now, today we're going to be looking at another older technique. I really love just doing older techniques again because obviously we've got lots of lovely new followers, but also we do forget about um, different techniques, don't we? A bit like fashion, things do go round. Um, you know, are we talking jeans? Are we going slim leg? Are we talking flares, bell bottoms? I'm sure you've all seen them all, drain pipes. Who knows what'll be next? Anyway, I thought as well, a couple of people have messaged me and asked for a different technique for underwater cards. Now at Lavinia, we've got so many fabulous stamps, you know, from the fish to our lovely um, Sebastian, the seahorse. We've got our mermaids, so many beautiful stamps. So we're going to do a really good, fun, old technique. And here we go. Just look, and it, it's sort of like the bubbles technique. And again, with this, you never know exactly what you're going to get. But I do just love the background. And I've just created... A little topper there to show you how Sebastian looks. But look at this background. Now, again, the only thing I will say is do have a stock of card ready. Because once you start, let me just pop these out of the way a minute. Once you start, you will literally, I just got some of my offcuts of card look. And I love this. Look, oh, another favourite one. Now, I did think the Druids in Bridge with them um, Dana on actually would look nice never mind under wa underwater I'm thinking mystical I just love sort of orbs and no two will be the same I like this one as well and it's funny as to one which ones will be your favorites and the wetter the card obviously the more color you've got but can you see a bit of shimmer I'm not sure if the light will pick it up but i just try and get a little bit here. I'm not sure if we can. Just see it glinting up here. This is because we're going to be using our mystical sprays. So again, those of you that have got the sprays and you've been saying to me, what else can we do with them? Well, this is something else you can do. And honestly, it's great fun. Um, Don't need a lot of products. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to put um, a little sheet on top of my mat because, as you know, I'm trying to protect my mat. And we're going to make ourselves up. I've got a, a little glass pot here. Going to make a bit of a concoction in here. So I'm going to add a little bit of a washing up liquid. Now, Eric's not in the room today because anything I do with any products that aren't sort of our normal, usual I don't let him come in the room. It's just in case I spill anything on him. Now, this one, this is the fruit sorbet, and this is one of the mysticals. So I'm just giving it a gentle little shake so that all the mica. And for me, I'm just going to tip a little bit in. And what I'm going to do is just put a piece of kitchen roll under here. And I'm just tipping a small amount in. Now, again depending on how much you're going to be doing. But as I say, it is quite addictive. This Once you start, you'll be... I mean, I, I've just been making so many backgrounds. And then I'm just going to add a drop of water. I'm going to file that over there. As usual, I've not got enough room on my table. And then I have got a straw here. And I'm just going to mix that up. Now, the two colours that I used originally, I'm going to bring in. I have them mixed up here in their own little pots. I mean, they look pretty just in their own little pots look. But I used the blue moon, obviously for the blue, and then for the green. And I picked it up by the lid, look, shouldn't do that. The amble green. So I've just mixed myself these little pots. And I'm going to use, so I'm just going to put these here. And I've got myself a piece of card. And I'm going to use the A6 card. 
and I'll just show you one background but honestly you will if you have a go at this you will just be wanting to create so many now I have got some kitchen roll on hand and all you're going to do is now this is really important you're just going to blow into your straw so obviously I know you won't but health and safety don't suck because, you know, you don't want to, it's not, we're just going to blow. But I have to say that, you know, health and safety. And by the way, I have got, you can't see it, I'll bring it in, look. That's my Lavinia Pinny. So, because of course I did decide to wear a white jumper today, didn't I? So, I'm just going to blow and excuse the noise. I'm going to get myself another piece of... Now, there are various ways of doing this. I find the best way to almost dab when the bubbles come up to the top, just dab. So if I show you, check you can see. Are you shouting at me? Yes, we can see, Joe. Okay. Can you see? You just sort of dab and you see how that's caught. So we'll just dab again. And the bubbles almost catch on the card. Now, I've tried various methods. I've tried actually lifting the bubbles onto the card. But that, if I show you, I've got one here that I kept. That's the way I did that one. So I lifted with my straw the bubbles onto the card and I got a lot more colour. But for me, I thought that was too much colour. I prefer the paler ones. But again, you know, I'm just coming in to wet your crafty appetite. So you take this wherever you want. So we can see we've got a little bit on there. Let's just have a bit more. And again, the stronger colour, less water, you'll obviously get stronger colour, more vibrant. So if you want it more vibrant, just add less water. Oh, I like that. And just in this corner, I'm thinking, we'll do a diagonal. So maybe just pick up a little bit in that corner. I'm going to move that one over there. Now, you can heat this with your heat tool to speed it up. So... I'll just give that a quick dry front and back. But look, can you see that? And again, you can mix your colours. So let's add a little bit of green to that. So in with the green. Now this has been mixed for about two hours now. So we'll see. Hopefully we can still use it. I don't see any reason why not. But let's experiment. Oh, now we did pick up. Look at that. Do you know what? Right, let's get the heat tool on this. Watch what happens. Now, again, that's good because it shows you the difference. So, obviously, I picked up a lot there, almost more heavy-handed, and you've got a much larger amount of colour. So depending whether you want the deeper colour or whether you want that pale, subtle. So let's add a little bit of blue and see what the blue's like. Maybe just a little bit of the blue. Maybe just a touch in this corner. Oh, I like that. Look at that there and that there. Hopefully if that one just... Yep, yeah, so we'll give that a little dry. And like a lot of these techniques, I personally think these are best to let dry naturally. And it will almost become deeper. Look at that. See, I love this bit. I've got to be honest, for me... This is my favourite bit. I'm not so keen on this, but it's good to show you. And I know there are some of you that will prefer this. So it's good to look at all the different, but that is simply how you... I mean, I think I'm going to be cutting this in half and doing two different ones because I do love this. So maybe start on a larger piece of card so then you can cut it down. So that's all you're going to do. Do you know what? I'm just going to have to have 
another go. Now I've got an off cut here. I haven't got it. Um, I'm just going to have a go on one of my off cuts. And again, this is the best thing to do. Let's just pick up. I want to see what just the pink looks like on its own. Just make myself a full length of this. That Oh, that's good. Pick those up. Look, that I can then, after, after we've finished with our catch-up, I'm thinking, right, a little bit more there. See, while I've got all the products out, so this is what I'm going to do, look, is just make myself move that out of the way. While I've got it mixed, look, oh, look at that. See, I love that. Think of all that, just a simple background, one of our beautiful fairies stamped on there. You wouldn't need any more, would you? Honestly, it is so addictive. I would just happily sit here and make background after background. So I'm going to just put those on the floor to dry. As I say, no worry today. So I can happily file them on the floor. And let's just show you how lovely it stamps up. And I'll choose one of the drier ones to show you. So let's have a look. But again, I'm torn. Oh, this one, I think. I like that one. Right. I mean, I love this. So if you're having trouble with Mr Mojo, I know one of our lovely ladies, she messaged me and said he's gone on a round the world cruise. So if that's happened, this will be a great technique. And after all, all you need is mica spray, washing up liquid, and let's face it, better than washing up. A container. I save all my glass containers. I bet you do, I bet you've got jars. You could use a plastic cup. So let's have a look at our stamps. So let's get some stamps out. The filed on the floor because I hadn't room on my desk. And I think we'll come on with the fish set. Yes. And our black, our nocturne. So we're coming in with the Versafine Claire Permanent Ink. Should we do it that way? No, I like it that way. Actually, I think that way. That's half the fun, you know. You'll be doing like me, which way, this way, that way. And I'm thinking if I put that one there and you see how beautifully it stamps. Look at that crisp. And, and often I know that's the sort of questions that you want to ask. Now, where's my other fish gone? He's swum off somewhere. So we'll link him up in black again. He's decided not to stick, look. Right, so let's maybe have him just in front. Swim in the same way. They're off to get dinner, I think. And then there's a beautiful stamp called the Sea Bubbles, and it's a long stamp. But many moons ago, and shh, don't tell Tracy, I cut it into three. There's the other. So it's in three bits just because I like the little end bits and I use these a lot. Now, I can still put it back together if I want to stamp the whole thing. But this is my favourite little bit, just this grouping of bubbles here. And then maybe just catch that just coming off the page there. Lovely. Let's have a little bit of something at the bottom. So I think marine kelp and let's bring in some similar colours. So I'll use the colours, the same colours that I used on my original. So I'll bring the original one on here, look, and I'll use the colours that I used down here. So for those, I chose the Bally Blue and the Advocar in the new Versafine Claire inks. And I just thought that blue and green. So let's put a little bit. We'll have that there. And then I'm just going to give that a quick wipe. But, you know, look through your stamps again. It's an ideal time. 
to look through all those stamps. Maybe organise them. So see algae now with the green, the avocado. And I'm thinking we'll just have a couple of that there. Maybe one just second generation behind that. They're just two separate at the minute. And it's nice when you can, because again, when you look underwater, they do intermingle, don't they? So like that. So I think I'm finished with my, my stamp in there. So just give it a bit of a bit of a blot. But you see how those lovely bubbles in the background. But we can ha enhance that, you know, because we've got our lovely white orb stencil. So maybe with the mermaid, and again, I would decide on the mermaid ink, wouldn't I? Just looking for my little brush, my number three brush. It was hiding then. I'm just going to add a little, just a couple more. Just thinking, just part of one on there. And again, we've got different sizes look. So, oh, that would look nice. Just overlapping that. And then maybe a couple more. Maybe a little one there. Maybe one down here. One of the little ones down there. And then we need something here, don't we? Let me think. And again, you will just decide, I know, just one at the top there, faint, going off. And then I think, it's when you try and be random. I do think it's a, such a hard thing being random. Yeah. And then just maybe little edge of one in that corner. Right, I'm going to stop now, walk away. Yeah, so again, you've got your white orb. So it's all about mix and matching the products that we've got. And I do think that's lovely when we find um, a technique that we haven't used for a while to just be able to mix and match the products we've already got. So let's add a little bit of colour to the fish. And I'm using these beautiful Signal and it's a Uniball gel pens. And these are the metallic ones. And the colours I've got are violet, um, green and blue. And again, these are perfect for just adding colour to the fish. Now, again, you will take your time. These are obviously little tropical fish, beautiful rainbow colours. Tell you what, I hope the sea's nice and warm for them. I will just add, and I love this one. Got all these gorgeous dots on him. And there's lots of different colours. So have a look at what colours you've got. I was just thinking, I started off choosing the green and the blue because obviously they were the colours in the background. And then I just thought the violet just added a little bit of contrast. And as I say, you will take longer. So I'll put the lids on those. I must admit, I bought these up just each time I visit Lavinia. I just buy myself another colour. Now, just for the fins, I want to add a little bit of glimmer and make it look like they're underwater a little bit more. So I'm going to use the Wink of Stella and this is the silver. Absolutely fabulous. So we've had the clear for ages and we've now got the gold and silver. What I just need to point out, because again, a few of you have asked, and I'm just going to move this out of the way. So we've got a brand new one here, look. Now it does have instructions on the back, but I don't know about you, for me, that writing is so small. The older I get, you know, the smaller the writing looks on these instructions. Now, the good thing is the gold has got a gold lid. So hopefully I'll remember, as long as I put the lid on the right pen, so I may just write gold on here as well. When you get it, look, 
there's a little black washer here. That's there for a reason. You need to take that off, put that in a bin or save it for a crafty purpose and then screw that into there. Now, at the minute, this barrel is empty, but what you've done is enabled it. Now it's screwed in. All that lovely glittery gel is in here and you just need to gently squeeze. And I would recommend, just want to get one of my blocks. I would recommend squeezing it over a block so that, because often what happens is, what you're doing is you're watching, you see how it's coming now. Can you see that if I bring it a bit closer in the barrel? You want that onto the nib. But it's very difficult gauging it. And for me, some drips always come out of the nib. Now, you don't want to do that over your work. There we go, look. But all I can do is pick that up and then I can paint with that so I can save that. So that's the gold and that's how you would do it. But I really would recommend don't do it over your work. So I've got the silver here and obviously it's all primed ready. And I'm just going to paint the tail of the fish and the fins in the silver and I'm just going to add a little bit so this one as well and it's lovely because you'll still be able to see that that beautiful stamp through and we'll just go for some lovely silver glitz on our bubbles as well and then just down here on our beautiful sea kelp and all the lovely foliage we'll add some just so we've got that bit of watery sparkle and pop that lid on if i lift that up you can see that lovely sparkle but it doesn't take it away from that fabulous background so on my sample here the only other thing I've done is added a little bit of shadowing under the fish. And to do that, I've taken my lovely aquarelle, which I am difficulty saying. So these lovely colouring pencils and I've got the grey. And I just want to add a little bit of shadow under the fish. Just to almost make them stand out a little bit more. So I'm just very quickly add in just here just at the base of the tail here and I've just gone for the grey pencil now obviously these are water based pencils so you can either take a paintbrush and add some water or I'm going to get my clear and check it's got the right it's clear my clear wink of Stella and I'm just going to activate that pencil so it'll give some shadow but also it'll just have that glisten when it dries so it'll just make the effect that the fish are swimming through the water so just a little bit of wink of colouring and I've gone for the clear because I want to almost keep that shadowy look now if I bring that closer, can you see? So we've still got a little bit of shadow, but we've also got that shimmer that the fish are in the water. And as I say, not taking anything away from our lovely background. So my final thing, again, we love our finishing touches, don't we? I mean, you could play with this for as long as you want. I'm just going to add a little bit on these lovely white orbs, some little white highlights little white highlights and look it shows up on the Wink of Stella which again is something I often get asked so I'm using Posca on top of the Wink of Stella and look shows up beautifully last thing some white splats just avoiding the fish but over everything else And there we have it. So I'll get rid of that. But I 
just wanted to show you i wanted to show you the background mainly but i thought if i don't show you how lovely it stamps up if i just bring this in and say this is what you can do you'll be saying to me you know how easy is it to stamp on so i just wanted to show you one of the little off cuts stamped up but i actually i think this might look nice in my journal i think if i carry on the stamping put this on black and then add that to my journal page i think that'll be fabulous so i'm hoping you enjoyed that and i'm hoping it's new to you or if it's something you have done before maybe you've not done it for a while but just have fun just like i say if mr mojo's gone create lots of different backgrounds look at all your mysticals see what colors you've got and just enjoy playing and please if you put something on social media tag me in because i'd love to see what you do I do love it when, you know, you really enjoy what you're doing and you craft along with me. Honestly, makes my day. Right, I need to go. Eric is sat outside the door. I can hear him moaning. In fact, I'm surprised you haven't heard him. Bless him. He can't understand why he's shut out of my craft room. And I think I may just, I'll take him for a walk and then I might just have to come back and make some more backgrounds. Honestly can't wait to play let's just have a look how the pink one look you know the pink one look how that's dried love that look yeah really love that great background do you know what i might even just put some butterflies on there great for a quick card anyway i've kept you for long enough thanks as always for all your friendship and support love and hugs from me see you again tomorrow Bye for now.